Hello everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. This one's gonna show you how to apply a beautiful dual lighting or dual tone type effect to any image or photo just like this. Here's the original great picture and then I just added in a really cool effect to it to give it that cool uh, style. How did I do it? I'll show you in about 60 to 90 seconds. Let's start from scratch. Here we go, we got the image loaded up. First step, go down here and we're gonna create a new gradient layer. So we're just creating a new adjustment layer, gradient. Click on that. Presto. Now, beside gradient, click on that rectangle, and what we're going to do here is we're just going to go ahead and change the color up. On this first stop, on the color stop here where I'm, I'm hovering, double click on it and select a dark blue just like this. Okay, good. I'm going to click on OK. Now, I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to make sure that this furthest stop is set to black. So we want to go from blue to black. So blue here, black there. Now, click on OK. All right. Now, the next step is I'm going to adjust the angle. So I want this one to be 45 degrees. So basically it's coming in at a 45 degree angle. Also, I'm going to increase the scale from 100 to about 125 for this one because I want the gradient to go a little bit further than normal. Okay, so there you go, 45, 125 scale. Of course, you can adjust these as you see fit. Now, I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to drag and drop it on this little plus sign to create a new layer, duplicate layer. So this is a duplicate layer. And now we've got a, basically this, the effect is stacked on top of each other. That's not what we want, let's fix it. I'm gonna double click here on the layer thumbnail. And on this one, I'm gonna click on the gradient again, but instead of blue, I'm gonna to go to dark, deep, dark red. So we wanna go over the top here. So the darkest red, click on okay and click on OK here as well. And then instead of 45, we wanna go to minus 145. So we're basically gonna go from the top right down. So we've basically got the same, everything's the same except the angle is different. So you can see we're getting close to where we wanna be, but we're not quite there yet. The next step is to take both of these layers and change the blending mode from normal, go all the way down to color. Take the one below it, go from normal, all the way down to color. Presto, you have an amazing, cool looking dual layer. If this isn't quite correct, you can create a new layer, just like I'm gonna do here. Go over to the left side, grab your brush tool, make sure that you've got a soft round brush selected, and then you can go ahead and add in a little bit of paint. But before you start painting, make sure that your flow is set to 1%. This is a very subtle effect. So I would go, let's say I want some more of this blue here, on the nose area and maybe up here, I would just paint in with a 1% flow. If I wanted some red, I could paint that red in something like that, depending on what is missing. And again, if I turn it on and off, very subtle, but that's how you get an amazing dual layer effect. Thanks for watching.